Let's talk about YAML and its usage. YAML stands for YAML and Markup Language. Yes, you read that right. It is a recursive acronym, meaning it is an acronym that refers to itself. I hope you find the humor in the acronym, as I do. Compared to XML and JSON, YAML only has a minimum syntax with more emphasis on human readability. Because of its emphasis on readability, it is often used in declarative automation tools, such as Ansible. YAML uses indentation to indicate nesting. This is perhaps the biggest difference between YAML and other data formats that we have seen so far. It is often referred to as the superset of JSON, meaning JSON is contained within YAML. In fact, we could directly embed JSON objects within YAML. The YAML documents usually start with three dashes and optionally end with three dots. Sometimes the dots are omitted if there's only one document. If there are multiple documents within a single file, then each should be separated with the common three dashes. YAML basic data types are signed integers, floats, strings, booleans, or nulls. String values in YAML are sometimes left unquoted, but I personally find it easier to always quote them. The objects in YAML are in key value pairs. The key and value are separated by column. The list in YAML could be represented either with square brackets or with the same indentation and a dash in front of the list item. The maps could be represented by curly brackets or nested with the same indentation. Unlike JSON and XML, YAML does not use brackets or tags to represent hierarchy. It uses new lines and spaces. If two items share the same indentation, it means they're at the same level. YAML provides a way to incorporate comments. Comments in YAML are preceded by the hash symbol. It is worth noting that YAML is a very popular format used in configuration files and templates. It is widely used in the popular automation tool, Ansible. Here is an example of a YAML file. As we have discussed, the document starts with three dashes and ended with three dots. Each of the data are in a key value pair, such as receipt, date, and customer. We could also observe the hierarchy with new lines and indentation. For example, two key value pairs of first name and last name are nested under customer, and built to key contains other map items, such as street, city, and state. If we look at the nested items with the item's key, we could see the dash in front of the part number. They represent list items, so each of the data objects sharing the same indentation belong to the same item within the item's list.